A graph is a nonlinear and abstract data structure, meaning it is defined by its behavior and not by the underlying mathematical model. It consists of a set of nodes, also known as vertices. These nodes are connected by edges, aka lines, aka arrows. A graph data structure can be direct and indirect, where in a direct graph, edges have direction, and that's why they are called arrows sometimes. And in an indirect graph, the edges are just lines connecting the nodes. These arrows can go one way and also both ways. When they go both ways, we say that the nodes are strongly connected. These arrows can also be weighted, which means these edges have values. If we use a map as an example, the vertices would be the intersections or any address on the map, and the roads would be the edges connecting these points. The roads can go one way in any direction or two ways in both directions. The distance from one point to another can be used to define the weight of the edges, and this weight can help us decide how fast or how far would have to travel between two points. Any binary relationship can be represented with a graph. Social networks like Facebook and Twitter can be represented by graphs. Roads, flights, communication lines are all examples of things you can use a graph data structure to represent, making the graph a very important data structure to learn. The World Wide Web, for example, is one big graph, as well as search engines like Google website rankings. You often hear about matrix when working with graph, and it refers to the way to represent the graph. There are different ways to represent a graph. You can use adjacent list, which is a map keyed by the vertices, and the value is a list of adjacent vertices they are connected with. You can use adjacency matrix, where you can use a multidimensional array to represent whether the vertices are adjacent or not. And you can also use an incidence matrix similar to adjacency matrix, but it tracks the connectivity between vertices. I'll go over this in details on the next video when I show you how to implement a graph data structure. Depending on algorithm used, you are able to calculate fastest and shortest path from multiple points. And it's perhaps one of the most fascinating data structure to learn about since it helps you understand and define a relationship between anything. Let's go ahead and implement one. So we'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.